Okay, during this lab, we will migrate the neural network model, just trained neural network model, the output from the Python, Python script you have seen, .h5 file, we will migrate this model to the C code. Okay, so let's stay with Cubemix. We must start new project. And just to remind, 5.3 version. So access to board selector, or you can go here, file, new project, up to you. And then we need to enter IoT and double click on the part number and initialize all the peripherals. So we have our micro. And how do you think? What do we need to migrate the model? We need a model. Here is a hidden button. So please press additional software button. Then I propose to narrow the selection by selecting the artificial uh, intelligence only. Okay, so we can see the XCube AI expansion pack. Just to be more clear, we have STM32 CubeMX tool. This is the code generation. And we have HAL library, hardware abstraction library, to configure and to generate the source code for the initialization of microcontroller. And then we can extend the CubeMX features with external libraries, which is so-called expansion package. And one of the expansion package example is XCube AI. We have expansion package for the MEMS, for the Bluetooth, etc. Now we are focusing on the expansion package. In fact, this is library or even more than library. This is repository with examples, library, uh, documentation, etc. Now we are extending the CubeMX with XCube AI expansion package version 4.0.0. The current one is 4.1.0, but we today we will use 4.0.0. And STM32 CubeMX extended with Xcube AI, it is cube.ai. Okay, let's unroll all the items. And we have two items to, to select, application and core. What is core? Core is our library our neural network library. Uh, just to remind you, it is object format, it is object library without debug capability. Okay, so core, uh, if we consider, I don't know, Bluetooth, mm, core, it is equivalent of protocol stack. But protocol stack, it is only a tool. We need to put the application layer on the top, on the protocol stack, on the core. So we need to select core to activate the neural network library, our implementation of neural network algorithms, and we need to put on the top particular application. It can be your application, we'll use the ready application. We can select between three different applications. System performance, so this is very simple application showing the accuracy, showing the, the, the speed of inference, showing the usage of heap and stack very important because the debug capability is closed. So you can use system performance application. Uh, for example, if you interact with FreeRTOS, because FreeRTOS is uh, using the controller heap and it is important to control the, 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 the heap usage. But today we will not use system performance. We will use validation application because we want to validate the neural network running on the top on the real silicon with the original model running on the top of my strong processor. It means that we will get what kind of error? Relative error, not absolute error. Because we will be comparing the predictions of the fully equipped model with the full precision, with a lot of resources uh, running on the PC with poor model on the top of microcontroller. We just want to evaluate, we just want to know what is a drop of the accuracy of the model migrated to silicon. And in order to do this, we can compare the runtime 
between the migrated model and the original model. And we will get relative error. Validation. The third application, this application template, it is your case, in fact. When you would like to use uh, Cubemix and you would like to start your custom application, you can select template uh, application. So it will generate the template to fulfill with, with, with your source code. Of course, including the, the neural network library. Okay, validation and core must be selected and the version 4.0.0. So the additional item just appear within the resources manager. Let's unroll it. And you can see that we have Xcube AI 4.0.0 item. So now we can configure this resource by clicking. OK, so we activated. Uh, uh, core and application and now we need to add model add network so please press to migrate we need to add model to, mig to migrate so please press add network then it would be nice to put our customer custom name to the network ASC audio steam or acoustic steam classification And we have Keras model, because I used Keras library. And we have one file containing the model, so please select saved model. We can split the, 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 the output from the learning process to topology of the neural network and the weights file. Quantized model, I will discuss it uh, at the end of the workshop. So saved model. ASC Keras saved model. Then let's select the model. Browse. And please go to the C AI. So this is our repository. AI folder. Sensing one folder. Utilities. AI resources. Models. And then please select the last one. Session Keras mod. 93 model.h5. Please do not select this, uh, the, the first one. It is quantized model. Let's select the last one. So now we have a model to migrate, and the first step to perform is to analyze the model in front of our resources, in front of the resources of the selected MCU. Let's do it. Do this. Analyze. Okay. The pop-up window just appears. Let's close this window to, 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 to avoid confusing you with strange numbers. We will focus on the most important and most practical numbers. The, th those three values. Complexity, flash occupation, and RAM occupation. Complexity. 517K of something. MACC. MACC means multiply and accumulate complexity. This is the unit, the universal unit, universal metric to evaluate the complexity of the neural network model. And what is the relation to the clock cycles. There is no direct uh, relation, but, but do not worry, we can say that one MACC, it is about, this is the keyword, about nine clock cycles for the Cortex M4 and seven clock cycles for the Cortex M7. You can find those numbers in the documentation. So you can easily calculate, you can easily evaluate the, the number of clock cycles for needed for one inference, for one prediction. The next value is wel well known to all of, all of us, flash occupation. This is quite small model, model, only 31 kilobytes. But on my PC I have model which uh, occupies about 3 megabytes of flash. 
and what should we do in such a case? Let's imagine that we have we are standing in front of such a problem. Here we have three megabytes. What should we do? We should start with the original model without, without touching the model with validation on the desktop to see the accuracy of the model. So please press the validate on the desktop button. And now we are running and we are comparing two models, two runtimes. First runtime, it is the original model taken from the Python and running on the top of the Python, Keras and TensorFlow with double uh, float precision. And on my four cores processor, this is our base to compare. And the second model migrated to C which is running on the top of the C simulator here. C compiler and, and simulator. On the, on the, on that's why it is so-called validate on desktop. And as a result, we will get the relative error. And the result is here. L2R, it is the relative error between the original model and migrated to C model running on the simulator. And this is, the number is quite nice because this is about 8 in power of minus 8. When the border, the threshold is 0 0.01. So it is okay. But this number, this border, this threshold has been selected in, again, it, this is arbitrary selection. This is selection of, of, of our development team. You can select lower border to be acceptable. Depends on application. Okay, let's press OK. I will explain you on the slide. Again, we have two models. The original Python Keras TensorFlow model on PC and the generated C model, the migrated C model. Then we, we can use two different data sets. We can use random data set if we don't have custom data set, or we can use custom data set if we have. So uh, alternative selection. Then we are feeding both models in the same time with the same data set we are evaluating the relative error. Previously, we discussed the confusion matrix. So we, we had custom data set and we were able to evaluate the absolute error because uh, when we have custom data set, we know what we can expect. And we can use the absolute error evaluation both for the uh, original model and for the migrated model. But relative model shows us what is the drop of the accuracy of the prediction of the inference after migration to C? Okay, but let's consider the big models. Let's, let's, let's imagine that here we have three megabytes. We just validated our model, it is okay. So the migrated model behavior is okay. The accuracy, is the dro the accuracy drop is acceptable, but we need to uh, decrease the resources usage. We can do, do this using compression here. Let's select the compression factor four. And the compression means, it is again quite complex algorithm. Uh, the compression, it is weight sharing inside the dense, dense layer. So we are not touching the, the, the convolution. We are not touching the, the, the max pooling layers. So our filtering, our feature extractors, we are touching only our brain, our dense layers. Okay, so after setting compression num uh, four, we can analyze again. So, we can observe now the dramatic reduction of the flash occupation, almost by 50%. The RAM occupation is, is, is 
almost the same because we need the same data structures. Okay, the model is compressed, but we need to again check the accuracy drop because we just checked the accuracy drop between original model and not compressed model. Then uh, now we will check the accuracy drop between original model and compressed model migrated to C. So validate on desktop. Okay, and now the result is a little bit worse because we have 2 in power of minus 4. Previously we had 8 in power of minus 8. So 4 orders of magnitude drop, but we are still far from the border, acceptable border of the relative error. So it is okay. So that's all regarding the network the core, the library, now we need to configure the, the, the application layer. So please go to the platform settings. And the application layer is very simple because we, we have only UR com port to, to exchange data with the PC. So let's select USART asynchronous and USART1. We need com port to exchange data with the PC to be able to validate the neural network accuracy on the real silicon. We need to send the data to the neural network and send back the results of the inference. Project Manager tab. Project name. Then project location. C slash AI slash Hanson. And True Studio as a ID, and we can generate code. Okay, so you can open project on your PC. I need to import the project. So again, switch to True Studio, then file, open project from file system, directory, and validate NN Munich. OK, and finish. And then let's unroll the project and unroll a source SRC folder and double click on main.c. Then double click on the ASC underscore data.c and double click on the ASC.C. This is the array which consists of the weights and biases. So in fact, all the neural network functionality is hidden behind those numbers. This is the frozen uh, array with the coefficients of the neural networks. So we can call it as a meta program because the functionality of the neural network is hidden behind those numbers. Okay, but let's go to the main.c. The AI process call, it is only one line inside the main loop here in main.c. MX, X, cube AI process, that's all. In ASC dot, uh, underscore data.c, we have weights and biases. And this is ASC.c, it is our programming interface. But to see the header files, please go to the, please open the ASC.c, then go to the line number twen 23, put cursor on the ASC.h, and then press F3 to open ASC.h. And what we need to do to integrate the model, the, the semi-migrated model with our application. We need input data structure, and here is the image resolution, the picture resolution. We need output data structure, and here is the number of the classes to predict. We need to allocate the resources for the neural network. So AI, AIC, create, 
then this is the complementary function to the create. Then we need to init the data structures and run the inference. That's all. So input data structure, output data structure, allocation the resources, initialization of the data structures, and running the inference. That's all. Let's build the project. This is so please highlight the project name, then right click properties, CC build behavior, enable parallel build, just to speed up the building process. Okay. Then you can take a hammer or you can just press the back icon and it is building. Please do not care about warnings because this is related to GCC compiler. And when board is flashed, so the play button or the resume button is, is active, we can terminate the session. And then we can open terminal. The parameters of, of the communication are 115 kilobits per second. Okay. And we need to press black button. And the action to perform is described here. At this point, we should close the terminal to free, to free the virtual COM port for the data exchange with the Cubemix. You can skip this step. And then let's come back to the Cubemix and our network or ASC or whatever uh, name you, you put. And now you, we can select, we can validate on target. So we can, now we will send data to the, to the neural network running on the real silicon and we will compare the prediction to the prediction of the original model. And we will again get a relative error. So let's select manual. Let's select the COM port, the ST-Link COM port the bold rate, it is OK, and then start the validation. So it is only 114 pictures to validate. Uh, and we can see the accuracy is almost the same, 1.9 in power of minus 4 like uh, during the uh, running the network on the top of the simulator, C simulator. So our neural network model running on the silicon is okay. This is the conclusion. You can ask, okay, it is nice to validate the network, but how to update my application with the new model? We just need to exchange four files. We need to exchange the file containing the weights and biases and companion.h file, the companion header file, and we need to extend the programming interface, uh, so asc.c and companion.h file. So we need to be Windows Explorer experts, that's all.